All right, here's a question today. Should a man ever be forced to pay child support for another man's baby? Now, Carnell Smith calls himself man for justice and says that he is tired of seeing women fraudulently trap men and get away with what he calls the perfect crime. Take a look. Paternity fraud is a big problem. It has already happened to over a million men. In my case of paternity fraud, my ex-girlfriend called me one day and told me that she was pregnant. And I told her, congratulations. I hope you and your baby's daddy would be very happy. But then she says, but you're the father. I paid child support for 11 years before I found out the child wasn't mine. I was cuckolded. Cuckolding is the term that the cuckoo bird lays its egg in another bird's nest and lets another bird raise its young. I got two DNA tests. Once I found out that the child wasn't mine, I contacted my lawyer and I said, I'm not going to pay her another dime. My ex-girlfriend asked the court specifically to put me in jail and make me pay the money that I had not paid. That infuriated me. When I went to court, I felt that at that point, I should be able to win my case with two DNA tests. I didn't lie here. We can prove I didn't lie and we can prove who did. And the judge says it's my fault that I didn't find out sooner. It's pay or go to jail. That was a bit hard to take. I appealed that to the Georgia Court of Appeals. They refused to let me appeal it. I refer to paternity fraud as the perfect crime because the victim gets blamed for the conduct of the other party. I never felt like giving up the fight. I was very effective in advocating position for the Georgia paternity fraud victims. I ended up getting a bill that frees men who've been falsely accused of a pregnancy they didn't commit. My tagline is, if the genes don't fit, you must acquit. 